Hey, it's Karma. Welcome to the video. Thank you for clicking and checking me out. As always, um, if you like the content, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will go on this fragrance journey together. So today we're going to be talking about a fragrance that I received in a swap. This is my first ever swap on the Facebook group. Um, shout out to Tiffany. I swapped with her and I swapped. What did I swap? I forgot what I gave her. Oh, I swapped the Raspberry Candy Violets for Cherry Hookah. Now, here it is. Let's look at the beautiful bottle. Isn't the bottle gorgeous? Like, I just love the graphic there. Um, the red and the purple go nicely. The red, purple, and pinkish hue goes together perfectly. The cherries with the smoke, it just looks like it's going to be um, delicious. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and it's a pretty full bottle. So it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. So let's go into what Dua has to say about cherry hookah. Okay. Now, Cherry Hookah is currently available. There's 51 in stock. It's the Dua Designer line, which means it's $33. Um, right now, they're having a sale, which you can get 30% off of that $33. So that's great if you're interested. Now, this is the inspiration of Vice Bomb by Simone Androli. Androli. And it says... Dive into the seductive world of cherry hookah, a tantalizing blend that ignites the senses. Succulent dark cherry and luscious red fruits intertwine while a swirl of salty caramel and vanilla cream adds a touch of indulgence. Pink sugar dances with the exotic allure of ylang ylang, creating an irresistible symphony. As you venture deeper, your senses are captivated by the embrace of precious woods and the warmth of tonka beans followed by an unforgettable trail of amber. Embark on a fragrant voyage with Cherry Hookah, our latest inspiration of Simone Androli's Vice Bomb, where each spritz is a swirl of dark allure and sweet sophistication. So classification is gourmand, notes are dark cherry, red fruits, salty caramel, vanilla cream, pink sugar, ylang ylang, precious woods, tonka beans, and amber. Gender is unisex. Concentration is extrait de parfum. It's 34 mLs, which equals to 1.1 fluid ounces. Again, it's $33 and they are having a sale currently. And again, it's 51 in stock, so it's available and it'll be available for some time because um, that's a pretty decent amount in stock. So let's get into this one. Cherry hookah, right? From the bottle... I'm getting that smoky, ashy kind of smell. I don't really get so much of the cherry off the bottle, but let's spray it here. Nice sprayer. Let's see what we are working with here. All right. Mm, okay, so you get that cherry, right? I won't lie, it's a bit medicinal. The cherry is a little medicinal. And you get the smokiness underneath that cherry. So you get a medicinal cherry with some smokiness. This is not a sweet cherry or a syrupy cherry. This is not the same cherry that you get in um, French macaroons either. This is an, indeed a dark cherry. So there's dark cherry, smokiness, a little bit of ash kind of smell. I wouldn't say that this smells like, you know, when someone's vaping, right? And you walk past and you smell like the airy fluffiness of the cloud, but you also smell the scent of whatever it is that they're vaping. And it's a pleasant smell. I don't get that. This kind of gives me like cherry tobacco more than like a vape smell. I feel like this leans a little more masculine than feminine. Of course, anyone can wear it. But you do, you definitely have that smokiness. 
The cherry is a dark cherry. The cherry is strong there, so you have to like the dark cherry. I know a lot of people don't really like cherry fragrances. Hmm. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the notes. So definitely pick up the red, the dark cherry, red fruits. Not really getting that salty caramel. And I'm not getting the vanilla cream of pink sugar. I'm picking up the precious woods. There's something dark and smoky. And the amber. But yeah, it's good. It's good. If you like those types of scents. Um, a smoky cherry tobacco kind of smell. Not so much a cherry vape cloud. Because I feel like a cherry vape cloud would be sweeter. This is not really sweet. Yeah, so... This, you know, this picture is actually very accurate because it kind of, it would smell like a cherry shisha. Like if you were doing um, hookah, that, you know, you kind of get that ashy smell from hookah. That burnt smell that you get in your throat, <laughs> start choking up. Um, that's, that's kind of the vibe you get. So if you like that cherry hookah kind of smell, cherry tobacco, this would be your your scent. To me, leans more masculine. Anyone can wear. But yeah, give it a give it a try. If you have picked up cherry hookah and you know, let me know what you think of it. I'm interested to hear other people's take on the cherry hookah. Now, um I was kindly also gifted some samples with my swap. So we're gonna go over those as well here. Okay. These, I believe, are part of Dua's brand as well. So this here is Diamond Cut Number 2, right? I'm not going to go into the whole description, but I will give you the notes. I sprayed it on here. So the notes are Neroli, Pettit Green, Shawan Sh Pepper, Orange Blossom, Peony, Cashmere, Vanilla, and Musk. Okay, and that's diamond cut number two. Now let's smell this. So I smelled it before. And to me, it was given Fruit Loops. Like, I, I, it smelled like Fruit Loops without the milk. I feel like you get that neroli for real, the neroli, the orange blossom and the peony. Hmm, I don't know what Sichuan pepper is. I feel like there's something slightly spicy in here, but it's not pink pepper because Dua's pink pepper is strong. This isn't like strong pepper, but there's something slightly, slightly spicy about it. Well, to me, it overall smells fruity. I'm picking up that orange blossom strongly in the rolling. It says gender feminine. Yeah, I can see that. Classification citrus floral. So yeah, this, this I can see being a citrus floral. Is it for me? No, I probably wouldn't purchase this. It smells nice though. It's kind of bright. It's like fresh, bright and fruity and to me is giving yellow and orange fruit loops if you had a bowl of orange and yellow fruit loops no milk just dry and you smelled it that's what it smells like to me it smells good so yay good sample okay the next one is diamond cut number one okay spray that on there now this one is a little strong and I'm already feeling like it's probably unisex, but it's leaning more masculine to me. Something is strong in here. Okay, so I'm not going to read the whole story for it. Diamond cut number two is out of stock. I think this might be a vaulted fragrance. It is classified as a woody floral musk and the notes are pink pepper. That's what it was. That pink pepper be catching me right into my nose and I, y'all, I cannot. The pink pe pepper is also very strong and rosemary can't, uh, rosemary, girl. 
raspberry candid violets and I pick it up along with the raspberry very strongly and it's too much. So the notes are pink pepper, bergamot, mandarin orange, grapefruit, lang lang, Egyptian jasmine, rose, orris root, patchouli, oof, amber accord, leather, musk, cedarwood, vetiver, uh, sandalwood, oak musk, vanilla, and tonka beans. There's a lot going on here. And um, yeah, I already knew I wasn't going to like this one. I first sprayed it and the pink pepper hit me. Um, I knew for a fact there was going to be some type of oud or patchouli in here. I do not like those notes. I am traumatized by patchouli. And yeah, so... This, I feel like, leans a lot, very, very masculine. But again, if you are a woman or a female who enjoys uh, patchouli, um, like musky scents, that vetiver, that's, it's very strong in that regard. Is This is a woody, I wouldn't even say it's so much floral. I don't smell any rose. I like I just feel like it's I'm picking up all the wood. I'm getting orris root, patchouli, leather, cedar wood, vetiver, all, all those things, oak moss. Like I don't smell anything fruity. I don't smell any like florals either. Yeah. I don't really know how to describe this one, but it's strong. And um, I, it's not fruity. I don't get any of the fruits. So yeah, this would be a no for me. But if you enjoy a scent with those particular notes, they stand out a lot and this would be your thing. The next sample is Nomad Peru. Now this one isn't by Dua. Oh, wait, no. Is it? Well, it is. Oh, okay. Yes, it is. Nomad Profumo Peru. It's currently in stock. It has 150 in stock. It's a Dua Fragrance Original Blend. And um, it's considered a woody spicy. The notes are fear, fear needles, pine tree, Peru balsam, smoke, strawberry jam, vanilla, and spiced woody notes. Guys, I can erase hell. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, let me not speak. Let me just go ahead and spray it first. And this one, the sprayer is a little... Oh! The sprayer is a little messed up. I couldn't really get it out. The spray was... Okay, you know, this one is not too bad. You know what I think is helping this one? The strawberry jam. Because I do smell something fruity. So I smell the strawberry jam. And then some like foresty. I'm guessing that's the pine tree. And the Peru balsam. Something's like the spiced woody notes are definitely there as well. This one is not bad. Not for me, but it's not bad. Like I didn't I didn't really care for diamond cut number one. But this one is again, I wouldn't buy it, but this one's nice. So that's Nomad Peru. It is available on the Duo's website. It's in stock. It is a 50 ml, which is 1.7 fluid ounces, extract the parfum, and it's $150. Oh, okay. This is on a pricier side. Yeah, so I'm, I'm picking up strawberry jam and like foresty stuff in this one. Not bad if that's if that's what you like. If you like pine, balsam, and like a, a fruity strawberry note, that would be a thing. Right, this next one is called Jasmine of Athens. Theodoros Calotinus. That's the perfumer. 
and this is what it looks like. I don't know if it showed up on the thing. Maybe it did. There we go. Okay. So now let's smell this one, right? This one I don't think is on Dua's website. So I had to bring it up. I like this one. This one is nice. Let me see. Mm. This one is really nice, guys. Let me see. Okay. Okay, so the notes for this one are Vanilla, Jasmine Absolute, and Tierra Blossom. This one smells really good. You definitely pick up the vanilla and the jasmine oh, and the tear blossom. Now, I think the tear blossom and the vanilla are very um, strong and I'm picking those up the most. I think I'm not even like a floral girl, but I've smelled tear. Uh, is that, am I saying it right? Tiery? Tear? Blossom? And this is absolutely beautiful. This is beautiful. Mmm. This one you may have to Google to find. <laughs> it's called, I'm going to put it down in the video. It's called Jasmine of Athens. You can find it on Scentsplit. It's available on Scentsplit. It is so good. Maybe do it has a dupe. Let me look for it, Jasmine. Let me see if they did it. Hmm. No, I don't see a dupe for it. So yeah, you'd have to um Google this one. But this one is lovely. And you don't have to love floral like love florals for this. This is a pretty one. It's light, airy, pretty. You have that tier that's like a light floral. The vanilla is um, not a heavy vanilla or overly sweet. It's like a light, airy vanilla. This is this is just an overall light, airy fragrance. Perfect for the springtime, I would think. Spring and summer, even. This is beautiful. Jasmine of Athens is so nice. So another win. Yeah, so out of the samples, ja Jasmine of Athens, I loved. Diamond Cut number two, I loved. It smelled, that's the one that smells like the orange and yellow Fruit Loops. Um, didn't really like the diamond cut number one or the nomad peru but see i like i appreciate these little samples because then you find new fragrances you discover stuff that you've never heard of or even thought to try and then you might discover some new love so i am so excited and happy thank you again tiffany for the wonderful swap um if you watch this video if you ever get to watch it thank you for the wonderful swap experience my first swap very successful and yeah i look forward to doing more swaps until next time guys if you enjoyed again you can leave me a comment subscribe i have more videos coming up and i will see you again bye bye